Mark took the comics and I'm back. This time I got a few packages to unbox, a few Golden Age books, and a Bronze Age DC key. If you're interested in seeing what I got in these boxes, stay tuned for that intro. So welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so that when I do put out some content, you get it in a timely fashion. All right. Like I said, I ended up um, compiling a few a few packages here from uh, the same you know same sellers. I've been waiting to unbox these after they all came in. This is uh, over two different auctions on the um, uh, Hiram's Collectibles is on IG. He does some random. Um, auctions from time to time and puts out some bangers a lot of great keys a lot of scarce rare golden age books and um, when he gets on a roll and he starts selling some big dollar books he starts drink uh, drinking and then he starts slashing prices like crazy so you get some pretty crazy deals on uh, Hiram's auction so uh, ended up picking up some cool books um, so let's uh, open them up you know um, if you haven't already, please check out my 800 subscriber official contest video. You have till Saturday to enter. You can leave a comment or you can make a video. So uh, it's in the playlist. Just go check it out if you haven't already. There's some great prizes in there. Um, I'm over the 900 subscriber mark now. So now we're going to be, you know, pushing for the 1,000. So that's going to be real exciting. Um, and I want to thank obviously all the new subscribers that have recently joined and all of you know the longtime subscribers that have been you know watching from the get-go I appreciate it um, so like I said I got three packages I don't know what's what which package is what um, I do know the books outside of uh, one of the books I'm not sure what one of the books I bought I know it's a pre-code horror it was one of those like flash buys and ended up just buying it and um, I was drinking late last that night too and <laughs> I bought it but I know it was a good deal I just don't recall what the book was so uh, that happens um, so here we go so this was packaged nicely how you package you, you know you get two raw books and you still package it in a box with an envelope and some padding that's that's how you do it that's how you do it yeah I don't I don't ask for much and I still it still comes in a Gemini look at that don't ask for much when it's you know when I get packages I just ask that it's you know secure it doesn't have to be anything crazy Oh, perfect. Okay, so this was the um, this was the first purchase I got from them, the uh, the older of the two uh, auctions. So now I <laughs> now I remember what I got. Um, what I spent on this one? I think I spent I spent one seventy five. Yeah, one seventy five. Yep. And uh, thought they were pretty good prices. Um, they were both low, low grade, low grade, um, but one of them I had been looking for quite a while, and I had not found this for a good price on eBay. You know, the prices I was finding them on eBay was for like several hundred dollars, and um, I'll show you that book after. First book is um, Tales from the Crypt, issue number 31. So as you can see, pre-code horror. You got this, it looks like uh, an executioner there. Has an axe, looks like he's about to cut off his arms. <laughs> pretty uh, pretty horrific scene that's about to happen. Um, I don't know who did, oh, Jack Davis cover. I like sometimes they put the, uh, the signature on there. Um, you got the Crypt Keeper, the Old Witch, and the Vault Keeper. So I like how they do that. It's classic EC. You got the, uh, the characters there on the side. I just love these. I just love the trade dress on it. It's just amazing. Tales from the Crypt. 
Um, I don't know the year of this book, but I like to open it up and check it out myself. There we go. Just going to tape that up so I don't do any tape pull because that would be a rookie mistake. And I can say that because I have done that before in the past. So uh, this is in low grade, like I said. It is tape on there all throughout, which is fine, fine by me. It's low grade, I'm happy with it. Um, the book is complete from what I was told, I believe so. All right, uh, let me take a look. What year is this from? August, September of 1952. Yeah. So, beautiful, look at that, nice cover. Is the back the 97 pound weakling? <laughs> you gotta love these uh bodybuilding ads that are in the back of these books, it's just funny, but uh, just really cool. It'd be a fun book to just open up and then uh, you know, read afterwards. It is uh, the colors still look really nice, as you can see. Still nice colors from a book this old from 1952. So, uh, that's pretty cool. So, I'll take a read at that later. Um, yeah, it's unfortunate. This book was, like I said, at one point, you know, detached, so they taped it. But it is what it is. It's 100 bucks. Can't go wrong with that. But that wasn't the book I was uh, after. It was this next book that I'm going to be... Uh, Pretty excited to show you guys. Just put that back in there. So uh, the next book is another EC book, and they had a bunch. They had a bunch of EC books that that auction. Um, if you like pre-code, like horror, sci-fi, they always have a ton of those. And um, this one's in much nicer shape than the previous book, and it paid a little less than that one. This was seventy-five bucks. This is uh, Weird Science Fantasy, issue number 24. Sorry for that, a little bit of the glare. But I love these sci-fi space covers. They just look absolutely amazing. I love that. You can see the, uh, the sun there. This nice space scene, which, you know, looks some foreign planet, whether it's Mars or whatnot. Um, you got a spaceship there. You got a couple of astronauts, a few astronauts there. And it's... Um, Al Feldstein cover and I just like these flying rockets that you see here on the side each of them uh, different issues you see different stages of the rocket flying which is pretty cool nice little touch that they added there to the um, to the covers well this is a great book um, like I said on the low key trying to find this book for a while and you know just at an affordable price it's not an it's not a a hard book to find by any means it's just sometimes it, it can be a little pricey and I, when I mean pricey like a few hundred dollars you know there's nothing key about this book at all it's just a great sci-fi book um, I believe this is from 1954 because this is towards the end uh, this would definitely benefit from a cleaning and uh, just taking a look yep June of 1954 does have a, a date stamp there as well. Now the back of it shows some advertisings for just a few different things there. A lot of different things you can buy. And um, just a really cool sci-fi book. This, uh, this series is definitely you know, one that's highly sought after. And uh, relatively affordable to say the least. So, uh, great to finally have that, that book in the uh, collection. So that was from the first auction. Uh, the second one is from the most recent auction. This was like maybe, I want to say a week and a half ago. So the books just came in um, a few days back. Um, also, 
Golden Age. One was uh, pre-code horror. The other one was, like I said, the DC uh, Bronze Age key. So I don't know which one's which. Um, but uh, both great books. The pre-code horror was a bit of a harder to find book. So when that one's when I open that one, I'll talk a little bit about that one. It was just one of those uh, one of those impulse buys. All right, so a little Gemini trying to open this up as quickly as possible, save some time. You know, a lot of people don't want to watch these because it takes time, and we're already at. 10 minutes and I only opened up two books. So go figure. All right. So this is, all right, so this is the first book. This was the, um, the pre-code horror book. All right, so I'm just gonna open this up and show it. This was a really cool cover. And you don't see too many pink covers in the golden age at least I'm sure they're out there I just I personally haven't seen a lot of them and uh, it comes from a cool publisher small you know, lesser known publisher which is from uh, Ajax and uh, it, it's just it's, it's a cool cover so I'll show you this is a uh, strange fantasy issue number I think this is issue number 13 the Strange Fantasy issue number 13. So look at that. You got a nice pink cover, damsel in distress, bondage cover, and you got this, I don't know what kind of creature this is, but uh, it's got some crazy looking weapon and he looks like he's about to do some damage. <laughs> so uh, this is a pretty hard to find book. Um, don't get me wrong, there are copies, uh, copies out there, but uh, it's in pretty good shape. It is, um, uh, what do you call it, detached at the top staple, which is fine, but the book is, overall, the book is attached, which is what matters, and I'm not going to play around with it too much, but it is attached on the back. So that's what matters. Get some great colors inside. I'll show you the inside of it. So great colors inside. I do not know who did the cover on this. And does not seem to say on here. So unknown cover artist and that that happens often in the golden age but uh yeah so uh really cool book strange fantasy number 13 i'll put that aside and then i'll show you guys the last book Hopefully you guys are enjoying this. If you are, feel free to hit the thumbs up and comment down below what you guys think of the books. Are these some books that you guys are interested in going out there hunting for? Or you have a copy, etc., etc. This is the last book. I'm sure a lot of you guys probably have this book. Especially if you're a DC collector. But this was another one of those low-key books that I was looking out for this year. And uh, this will pretty much, you know, in a nutshell, end all my, like, you know, books I was looking out for. You know, this was my last one. Outside of, like, just finishing up the last few of my Moon Knight run, which is not a big deal. But um, finally got this book. I got it for a good price, too, considering the grade. Ended up, uh, 
So they said it was a VF copy. Great book, great cover. And what did I pay for this? A buck fifty? Yeah, buck fifty. And uh, this is DC Comics Presents issue number twenty-six. So uh, first appearance of the new Teen Titans. Bunch of first appearances in here. Um, I believe this is this is a George yep George Perez cover, and I don't know is this Starlin writing? I forget who who wrote this, but I will tell you. It's either Starlin or I'm trying to think. I'm gonna open it up anyways because I want to take a closer look at it. I believe this is in 1980 or 81, something like that. <laughs> yep, 1980. Uh, yep, Marv Wolfman script, Jim Starlin plot and pencils. Yeah, I knew it was pretty close. Yeah, so uh, great book. Happy to finally have this. Um, like I said, I've been looking out for this book. I wanted to get this book raw, preferably. I know there's a ton of them out there. I didn't want to spend too too much on them because I know these books can get pretty pricey. But uh, that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. It was a you know, a little rather long video for the, <laughs> the amount of books I showed. But uh, that's it. Uh, like I said, if you haven't um, entered into the 800 subscriber contest, you have till Saturday to check that out. And uh, look out for some more uh, content later on this week. But until next time, Mark's with the comics. Out.